Welcome back to AMTV News. I'm your anchor, Topher Morrison. It's Tuesday, December 4th, 2012. World War III, financially based warm war. According to the Daily Telegraph, the Bank of England's Andy Haldane argued that, quote, the scale of the loss of income and output as a result of the crisis started by the banks was as damaging as World War. Moreover, because of easy money flooding the economies of the world, rather than making assets productive, compounded by a fanatic adherence to zero interest rate policies, trillions upon trillions of dollars that would otherwise be financing growth sit inert while banks across the globe refuse to own up to their risky assets and clear their balance sheets in order to jumpstart growth. In a world where large conventional wars have been supplanted by seemingly endless, smaller, warm wars at the edges of developed civilization, according to Zero Hedge, quote, Central banks have ushered in a just as destructive cyclical economic world war, which brings the same long-term social ravages as bombing campaigns, if not the same immediate carnage. I'll just go out and say it. Welcome to World War III, paid for by you, your children, and your grandchildren. The militarization of Syria, preparing chemical WMDs or pretext. Yesterday, President Barack Obama had this message for the leader of Syria. The world is watching. The use of chemical weapons is and would be totally unacceptable. And if you make the tragic mistake of using these weapons, there will be consequences and you will be held accountable. According to Hillary Clinton, it would violate a clear red line. Press Secretary Jay Carney went further claiming the mere proliferation would initiate similar consequences. In July, Syrian Foreign Minister Jihad Makadisi assured the world, quote, any chemical or bacterial weapon will never be used, and I repeat, will never be used during the crisis in Syria regardless of the developments, unless exposed to external aggression. As of yesterday, Mr. Makadisi has defected from the Assad government. Russia and regional experts warn that while anonymous reports of surface suggesting chemical precursors are being mixed, that in fact the real threat lies in opposing conciliation itself between Assad and his people. That through a missile defense shield proposed in Turkey, coupled with the continued militarization of an opposition of dubious composition, would destabilize the region further and potentially lead to foreign jihadists seizing WMDs for their own ends in effect establishing a pretext for Western intervention on humanitarian grounds and subsequent invasion or NATO bombardment a la Libya. Twitter photo of the day. So Bob Costas had to weigh in on gun control, huh? While an amazing broadcaster and moving orator, Costas would have us believe Javon Belcher of the Kansas City Chiefs had only one way of tragedy, and it was through a barrel of a gun. The Twitter sphere, on the other hand, had other thoughts. Who are you feeding? Cherokee Elder was teaching his grandchildren about life. He said to them, A fight is going on inside me. It is a terrible fight between two wolves. One wolf represents fear, anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, and superiority. The other stands for joy, peace, love, hope, sharing, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, friendship, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. This same fight is going on inside you and inside every other person too. They thought about it for a minute and then the one with no name asked his grandfather, which wolf will win? The old man simply replied, the one you feed. Capturing every corner of the alternative media, watch AMTV News Monday through Friday, for more videos like these, visit amtvmedia.com, home of the AMTV Network, the voice of independence.